This is BBC Newsline. The headlines this Thursday evening. A man shot in the face on Bloody Sunday wins his battle for civil compensation, the first of more than two dozen such claims due before the courts. Hello and welcome to the programme. A man shot in the face by a soldier on Bloody Sunday has been awarded £193,000 in a civil compensation case. Michael Quinn was a 17-year-old schoolboy when his cheekbone was shattered by a bullet. He also suffered nerve damage to his lip and eyelid. At the High Court in Belfast, Mr Justice McAlinden said the payment was for the pain, suffering and injury to feelings that Mr Quinn had endured for 46 years. Sarah Neal was in court. Michael Quinn was a 17-year-old schoolboy when soldiers opened fire in Derry in 1972. He was left permanently disfigured. The bullet shattered Mr Quinn's cheekbone and he recalled seeing a spray of blood, tissue and bone fragments exploding from his face. The women who administered first aid didn't recognise him because of the severity of his injuries. The court also heard that Mr Quinn's mother was so distressed at what had happened that she couldn't bring herself to visit him in hospital for several days. Mr Quinn still bears the scars of what happened that day. He says he carried the stigma of guilt by association until being fully exonerated by the Savile Inquiry in 2010. Mr Justice McAlinden said the payment was for the pain, injury and suffering to feelings that Mr Quinn had endured for 46 years and will continue to endure. It also includes a £5,000 payment for further surgical treatment to his wounds. No amount of money could compensate Mr Quinn for the physical and mental scars that he's lived with every day since the 30th of January 1972. Uh, this action was the inevitable consequence of the report of Lord Savile, the apology of David Cameron, then Prime Minister, and the universal declaration of innocence of all of the victims of Bloody Sunday. And uh, Mr Quinn is now relieved that this process is finalised. There are 30 other civil cases still to be taken and solicitors believe others may receive much larger settlements than today's because they will also cover loss of earnings, something not included in Michael Quinn's settlement. Sarah Neal, BBC Newsline at the High Court in Belfast.